Namaste. Uh, today uh, we are uh, going to um, discuss about the role of chai bar in the viscous interaction. So in the last uh, class we had a discussion and we understand that the similarity parameter that governs the laminar viscous interactions, both strong and weak interactions is represented by a parameter called chai bar, right? And we had a discussion um, that the chai bar represents the induced pressure increment, right? So, I acknowledge uh, John D. Anderson's hypersonic and high temperature gas dynamics. So, we know that the shock strong weak interaction, right? Strong and weak interactions. And we found that we have a strong interaction somewhere here. And uh, the weak interactions are here. And this is by considering a flow over a flat plate where the V infinity is hypersonic, right? And we have defined the similarity parameter uh, for the laminar viscous boundary layer, then chai bar is represented by chai bar is equal to m infinity q by root of Reynolds number into root of c, and c is uh, denoted by rho w mu w by rho e mu e, where the w represents the wall and the e represents the edge of the boundary layer. And we come to a point that the chai bar is greater than 3 is a strong interaction and the chai bar less than 3 is a weak interaction. And uh, we know that where the induced pressure increment is stronger and where the induced pressure increment is weaker. So by this way we have understood right, the strong and here it is weak. Now let us discuss about the role of chai bar in viscous interaction irrespective of strong interaction and weak interaction. So let us say the induced pressure increment is governed by the parameter chai bar, right, that we know already, right. So we have information that the displacement thickness delta star, right. So let us write the cells. So displacement thickness is del star, right? So displacement thickness del star for hypersonic laminar boundary layer on a flat plate and which is uh, proportional to the familiar result del star is proportional to x by root of Reynolds number. Now, uh, based on the reference temperature method, let us say based on based on reference temperature method the Reynolds number the average Reynolds number is based on the average properties within the boundary layer, right? So this is a average Reynolds number based on the average properties within the boundary layer. So we can write now del star is proportional to mu uh, So we can write that then strong. Okay, so del star 
is proportional to x you can write that it is x into root of mu star by rho star v infinity into x right so this can be again we can equate it to something like x into root of mu infinity by rho infinity v infinity s x into root of rho infinity mu star by rho star mu infinity so we can write in this term again we can finally write this as x by root of Reynolds number into root of rho infinity by rho star and mu star by mu infinity, right? So the Reynolds number is, uh, this Reynolds number is based on the free stream properties here, right? And the rho star and mu star are evaluated at the reference temperature T star. Now, um, now, let us write from the equation of state from the equation of state we can write rho infinity by rho star that is equal to t star by t infinity into p infinity by p star right and we have uh, already an assumption that the boundary layer the pressure is constant throughout the boundary layer, right so let us assume the pressure the pressure is constant throughout the boundary layer. So that is in the normal direction, right? So let us say in uh, normal direction. So we can say that P star is equal to P. E is the edge of the boundary layer, right? Uh, because of the viscous interaction, the because of the viscous interaction the pe say the pressure at the edge of the boundary layer will not be equal to the p infinity right so pe will not be equal to p infinity right because of the viscous interaction since the interactions or here the p e cannot be equated to p infinity right here is a p infinity so we can write that p in rho infinity by p star or rho star is equal to T star by T infinity 
into P infinity by P e, where we cannot consider like this, right? Because P infinity is not equal to P. So let us assume the variation of viscosity with temperature, right? Let us assume, let us assume the variation of viscosity with temperature. So here we can write the mu star by mu infinity is equal to C into T star by T infinity. Right? And again, for the C, in our case, we can uh, write that mu w that is at the wall by mu e that can be written as c into t w by t right so by considering the pressure is constant through the boundary layer which is normal which is in normal direction uh, we can write that so here considering considering the pressure considering the pressure constant perpendicular to the boundary layer we can say that t W by T E that is equal to rho E by rho W. So the equation, the above equation, this equation, we can write that mu W by mu E that is equal to C into rho E by rho W. Or uh, we can write that C is equal to rho w mu w by rho e mu e. So this is what the expression we need for the chi bar calculation. Right? Now let us substitute these uh, above equations into the displacement thickness. So that is del star is here, right? Rho infinity by uh, rho star and then mu, in, mu star by mu infinity. So we can substitute here and we can write that is proportional to x by root of Reynolds number into root of c into t star by t infinity into p infinity by p right So, again, we know that the T star and T infinity, right? T star by T infinity, it depends upon M infinity, right? M is square. So, we already know from our previous discussion that the temperature at the edge of the boundary layer 
can be equated to the temperature to the wall I mean, t infinity right sorry t infinity and also m e can be equated to m infinity so by this way we can write the equation the above equation del star which is now proportional to x by root of reynolds number and multiplied by m infinity square where i can take t star by t infinity equal to m infinity into root of c by p e by p infinity so this is the equation we arrive right now we have a term called p e by p infinity right what is p e by p infinity because we already know that based on the oblique shock theory right so let us say based on oblique shock theory Uh, we have an exact expression for p2 by p1 in terms of hypersonic similarity parameter that we have discussed sometimes back so we can write p2 by p1 which is equal to 1 plus gamma into gamma plus 1 by 4 into k square k is a hypersonic similarity parameter which is in turn m1 into theta that we already know right so plus gamma into k square into root of gamma plus 1 by 4 square plus 1 by k square so here we know that k is equal to m1 theta where theta is the flow deflection angle across the oblique shock that we know already right so um, in in the, in this case we assume that the effective body thickness seen by the free stream is given by del star right so effective body thickness effective body thickness seen by free stream is given by del star right so we can say that the slope here is d del star by dx right so based on this slope we have uh, the change is uh, uh, strong and then it corresponds to strong shock and then we shot like that we had a discussion anyway so further based on the previous methods uh, we can write, say based on the tangent wedge method right we can use the tangent wedge method here using tangent wedge method right we can write pe by p infinity that is equal to 1 plus gamma into gamma plus 1 by 4 into k square plus gamma k square into root of gamma plus 1 by 4 square plus 
वन बाई के स्क्वायर राइट सो बाई अवर अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट द इफेक्टिव बॉडी थिकनेस सीन बाई फ्री स्ट्रीम इज डेल स्टार एंड यू नो द थीटा व्हिच वी कंसीडर हियर से दिस कैन बी ऑलमोस्ट इक्वेटेड राइट से फॉर एग्जांपल थीटा व्हिच कैन बी इक्वेटेड टू डेल स्टार सो व्हिच आई मीन दैट k is equal to m1 theta that also can be equated to m1 into del star that also can be equated to m1 or m infinity into d del star by dx right so the point here is for this p e by p infinity we have obtained an expression right for del star in terms of p e by p infinity say here we have obtained the expression for del star in terms of p e by p infinity also we have developed an equation right p e by p star p infinity which is in terms of d del star by dx so these two equations p e by p infinity and del star provide the tools for analyzing the viscous interaction right and the effect of the boundary layer on the outer inviscid layer right but now um, the use of this two equation depends upon whether we are dealing with a strong interaction or weak interaction that is a question right so that we will consider separately and we will have a look into that how this is applicable to strong interaction and how this is applicable to the weak interaction right so here the role of chai bar in hypersonic viscous interaction initially we have considered the displacement thickness del star and then uh, we arrived to the particular point that del star is in terms of uh, p e by uh, p infinity right and then we have calculated p e by p infinity based on uh, exact expression from oblic short theory and we understand that the effective body thickness seen by the free stream is del star and uh, using the tangent wedge method we found that p e by p infinity can be equated in terms of the hypersonic similarity parameter and uh, p e by p infinity is in terms of d del star by dx where del star is in terms of p e by p infinity and we have equated k is equal to m1 theta which is in turn equal to m1 into del star right so finally we can write up uh, here so Right. Here we can equate the theta. Right. Here we can equate theta to d del star by dx. Right. So the theta which is corresponding to the d del star by dx that we know already. Right. We have uh, done um, a discussion on the uh, shop 
the body theta and the shock angle beta right so based on the tangent with wedge method we can come to this particular conclusion so how we will use this chi bar to the strong interaction and weak interaction that is still a question that we will deal separately right so i stop at this point um thank you very much